because I have a prepared speech. Ooh, speech. Oh, I'm as custom as I am, right? You'll, uh, you'll all laugh on that one, right? So, thank you. So, first of all, I want to thank you so much, each and every one of you. I love you all so much. You all have such a big place in my heart, and you're all so dear to me. And I know what an effort it is. Some of you draw very Just so grateful to you. So, all right, so just, you're honoring my mother's life tonight, and I will say the two months shy of 105. Wow, that's a lot of living. So, just, all right, so, um, I have to thank our beautiful hostess, Valerie. Yeah. Oh. Unbeknownst to Valerie, I called her up and I said, Hi, Valerie, I'm going to be in San Marino tomorrow. And what do you think if I came by? Because I got a great idea <laughs> that I'd love to talk to you about. Now, the reason why I, I had a suspicion that it would be okay with Valerie, because no one, those of us, I know many of you here have been to Valerie's parties. And there's nothing like them. So I knew that between Valerie and her well, staff. It's not over yet. It's not, <laughs> right. So a uh, special cheer for you. And thank you yeah. so, Salud. so much. And I first met Valerie because of Carol King's birthday, remember? Yes. Yes, and I so do. that oh, was wonderful. a few moons ago. Oh, OK, wonderful. so Valerie and then <laughs> Josie. Oh my goodness, wonderful Josie. And special you. thanks to her for the food. We had a meeting, we did, we had tea and a meeting, and we discussed food, and they said, what do you want to have? And I go, I have no clue. You're the party people. Josie, take a bow. So Josie is so amazing. And she just, I, I just don't know how she does everything. And she does it with so much love, and she, she's just so gracious and always kind and loving. And her dear husband, Noel, is here, and he's helping out. Here and there, right? And so, all right, and then Helga, where's Helga? Helga is Helga. So Helga is Valerie's amazing assistant. And um, so, all right, so special thing, because Helga is the, yay! It's the, yay, and she's the detailed person. And everything, everything Helga takes care of. So thank you so much. Because they, my pleasure. they wanted to make this really special, yeah, and you is. certainly did. Okay, my and, staff. Look up, and, and <laughs> Valerie's here. amazing staff. Oh, oh my goodness, yes. Wow. We, we all need staff. <laughs> I've just made a decision <laughs> of what we all need. Right, 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 exactly. Okay, and Dear Amy, where's Amy? Right where's in front Amy? of you. Amy. Oh. Amy, don't hide. So you all know Amy. If you don't know Amy, you know her from Facebook. And yeah. Yeah. Amy did the beautiful flowers I for know. me. Yeah. Yay. I love you so much. I love you so much. Gold. All right, now, anyone that, that ever orders flowers, if you order flowers from anyone other than Amy, you'll have me to contend with, right? Yeah. Right? Oh. Seriously, okay? <laughs> I'm telling you, because she does everything she with does. love, she and does. it's always more than, you know, it's always more. Okay, so Amy, okay, now, where's Mika? Yay! Yay, Mika right is here. so shy. Come here, but, okay, come here. here. So I don't know if you saw. So, I'm sorry to do this to you. <laughs> She's so shy. She's so see what she does to me. But anyway, oh, I love you so much. <laughs> okay, enough of that. <laughs> Did you get a chance to see the posters with yes, Mom's life yes, and oh. all of you on them? Mika did all of that, and she did the invitations. And she uh, keeps not only the office running, but me running. And she's the reason I just, I, I just said she's the reason I can go to lunch. 
<laughs> and be a lady who lunches once in a while because of me. So thank you. I love Yay. you so much. Yeah. Thank you for all your hard work. I mean, she worked so hard on this. You have no idea how much she did. Okay, I won't torture you anymore. Okay. And so, okay. And Lisa Bowman, my dear Lisa Bowman. Yes, yeah, she's saying I didn't do anything. But you got you got Jennifer. You got Jennifer. Okay, thank you. Our wonderful singer. Yay. Thank you so much. Yay. Thank you. And all I had to do was say, Lisa, we need entertainment. And she went to work and she did it. And Lisa sang at our wedding. And we've known each other for wow. quite a while. Wow. I love you so much. Ah, I just, this is, okay, all right. I'm a customer as I am. Where am I? Because I don't want to leave anyone up. Okay, so. I guess most of all I have to thank my beautiful mother Yay. who really taught me to um, be strong and to be independent by her example. So I guess I'm kind of strong and I'm kind of independent. <laughs> No, kinda. kinda. No, no, you're making this up, you. Okay, so, but she really did. And this is the most amazing story. I just found this out about my mother. She was the most amazing artist. And she had, um, in high school, some of you on Facebook, I posted them. She did some sketches that I would not have been able to do. She was really the talented one. I'm the one who worked hard, you know, all the time. And I've got 5% talent, but 95% I really work hard. But it's interesting. When I was born, this is so sappy, my mother said she looked at my fingers and she said, this baby, she looks at this baby and she pronounced me an artist. Oh. Well, I'm easy for you to say, wow, you know, I mean, the artist's life is not the easiest, right? <laughs> Why not, this is going to be the president of Nordstrom or something. I can get a discount on clothes and boss people around. It would have been perfect. But no, so early on, and... And seeing these sketches, um, I, I'm just amazed at how talented she was, but that no one ever gave her permission to really be what she was really meant to be, because she was far more uh, creative and artsy and, and uh, just everything amazing. And so uh, it was shocking to me to find these things. And, and so I saw her in a whole new light. I, I have to say hi to Danielle Rudin. She is Jim Folsom's number one. Jim Folsom could not function without you. And I'm just saying that because I know it's true. And when I first started teaching at the Huntington, uh, Danielle just took me under her wing. And she was so kind to me. And that's when you were in trailers. And I was in the garage <laughs> seriously that's what it was called the garage and uh, anyway so thank you Danielle thank you for all the years of friendship and kindness to me so I really appreciate it okay so uh, all right so I think I've said it all and I told you my mom was a true romantic and all of that so she in high school, she would copy down things, you know, that meant a lot to her. And she loved Ralph Waldo Emerson. Okay, so for all of you, and you'll all get a copy of this when you leave, but I just want to read it to you. And this was her credo her entire life. She lived by this that she copied down in high school. Okay, all right, this is called Tomorrow is Another Day. Finish each day and be done with it. You have done what you could. Some blunders and absurdities no doubt crept in. Forget them as soon as you can. Tomorrow is another day. Begin it well and serenely and with a high spirit too high to be encumbered with your old nonsense. 
Uh, wow. I th oh, yeah, wow. right yeah, there. It's so wow, right, right. right. But well, wait, there's more. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> the day is all that is good and fair, and it's too dear with its hopes and invitations to waste a moment on the yesterdays. Oh my God. And so these words, you know, that's that's what I want for all of us. You know that we live each day and that we all realize how precious every single day is every single encounter all the people we meet it, it's um, a privilege we're all privileged to to be here and to be able to love and I thank you again for coming now we get to eat.